Greetings everyone, this is Danny from HardTravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today I'm at the beautiful Dreams Vista Cancun Golf and Spa Resort. Now this is a brand new building, it is ultra modern architecture, and what I love so much about it is everything is actually in one place. What you give is very similar to kind of like vertical living, where you have all the restaurants, you're going to have the pools, the bars, including one of the most insane rooftops I've ever seen at any resort. You're going to absolutely love it here. And talking about architecture, as soon as you walk in, you get these unbelievable views. With the name Vista, you know that there's going to be insane views. And that's one of the hallmarks of this particular resort, is that there is a view from every single space that you're going to encounter, period, end of conversation. This is the perfect resort for families. They have an incredible water park. You can't really see it behind me. But you've got a big water bucket back there. You've got great pools and some of the best kids and teen club activities and amenities that you'll find anywhere in the entire business. So once again, you're also gonna love this for weddings if you have different kinds of groups traveling together. But this is a family resort. It is luxury and let me show you what it's all about. The design itself is absolutely beautiful. Everything is brand new. You have very modern technology. And what I found is that they really, really thought this out. You know, Dreams brands have been around for quite a while and they took the best of what I've seen from a lot of them and put them into this resort. Keep in mind, it is a golf and spa resort. The golf course is right here to my right hand side. You can always see it from the resort. And it's also a spa resort with one of the most stunning spas that you will ever see. So they utilized every single outdoor space here to the max. This is one of the longest pools that I have ever seen at a resort. It starts all the way over there. So if you love swimming, you can swim all the way up to the ocean and back, but it just gives you a lot of space to spread out. And also with the loungers, they're tiered. So you see that most of the loungers here are down in the water. I love that because you can put your feet down and uh, of course have your toes in the water to cool you off. All of the loungers do have umbrellas, so you can have those moved if you need to. And then they also have little tables nearby because of course they have drink service here as well. But what I like about this pool is you can kind of move around and have different experiences as you go. Throughout the day, they'll also have uh, things in here, possibly water aerobics um, or other activities and some fun. Uh, and then on the other side uh, is gonna be the activity pool. We'll show you that in just a minute. So just over to my right hand side is the golf course. Now this is one of their beautiful waterfront holes. You, they have a negotiated rate here, so less than $100 you can play golf. And they're also going to pick you up right here on property. In fact, there's a palapa just in front and they'll come with the golf, golf cart and pick you up. Because it's a spa resort, they're gonna hold on to your clubs for you if you'd like. Uh, and then of course, when you get back, they'll take care of all those details for you. So this is still the same pool. In fact, we had to cut a little out. It was such a huge pool, but now we're at the ocean front. Just in front of me, you have these loungers. They're once again in the water, so you get that really nice relaxation. Put your feet down in the water. It also cools it off a bit. And you're looking right out at the incredible ocean view, which also gives you that great breeze. You can probably hear it right now. Now the hot tub is another spectacular feature. You've got glass all the way around you. And then once again, ocean views in the 180 degrees. So just down the stairs from the pool is the beach area. So you've got these nice little terraces they have set up where you can sit and have incredible views out to the ocean. Down here, you've got your preferred club area of the beach itself, another one of those great upgraded amenities. And then continuing on to the other side, you have more seating as well. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that this is not a, a hotel with a huge beach. That's not what this is all about. There are some great pieces of it. You've got the amazing palapa out front. You've got the, uh, the hammocks in the ocean there. And then of course the views from every single spot. But with the location here, it, it's got a relatively small beach, but if you want a, want a little sand, it's gonna do that for you. So if it's something you're interested in, they do have the, uh, the ability for you to rent either kayaks or stand up paddle boards. Saw some people heading out earlier today, it looked like they were having a lot of fun. Um, and they also have a small water sports desk over here to my right. So one of the great and unique features here at this particular property is the private dock. So as we head on out, you can see the Palapa in the distance, but I wanted to mention that one great feature that they have is you can see that there's a dock right here. So if you want to have a private catamaran ride or different kinds of excursions that pick you up, they can actually do it right here on the property itself. So this particular space can be used for all kinds of different functions, but what we think it's gonna be best used for is private events, cocktail parties, get togethers, but also I can imagine it being an amazing wedding venue as well. Just off the beach, you're gonna find the classic beach bar, the Bar Akuda Beach Bar, right here to my left. 
You can see there's all kinds of different seating options. You've got, of course, the bar seating, though the bartender here has the best view in the house. I was a bartender right after college at our local bowling alley bar. Loved doing it, but definitely did not have anywhere near close to those views. Continuing along, you've got more seating here and then more of these uh, nesting chairs that you can sit and look out at the incredible view once again. One thing that I just wanted to point out is there's been a lot of attention to detail here that we've noticed around the resort. Taylor is an audio engineer and pointed out that they have QSC speakers all throughout the entire place, which are some of the best in the entire world. And of course, they're from Southern California, so we always appreciate that. So right in the heart of the sports zone here, you have two really large flow rider surf simulators. In addition to that, you have this great stadium style seating where you can watch those who are surfing, boogie boarding, or just having a great time. You're also gonna have the large rock climbing wall that can be both for kids, teens, or adults. And then over here, you can see this fantastic splash zone. So you've got all kinds of different water type amenities. You've got the little slides. You've got the water walkthrough areas. Of course, there's a couple more slides down here. There is the massive bucket up top there that pours that nice, cold, refreshing water down. But follow along, you have even more slides over here to the side. And then of course, you have the activity pool. So that's where we're gonna play different sports, water volleyball, basketball, things like that. But this side of the pool area is all about fun, sports, and having a great time. So there's another tribute to the convenience that you have here. Sandwiched between the two pool areas, you have the food hall, bar, and terrace area. I really love that they have this option. It's very popular back home currently right now. But essentially what it is, is you have six different food options. They, they change them up you know, all the time, but you have you know, Mexican, you can get tacos and quesadillas and things along those lines. They've got sushi, sweets, uh, Mediterranean snacks, but several different options in there, which once again, an all-inclusive is all about meeting the needs of every member of the family. And so if everybody can find something they like, it's perfect. It's also quick grab and go. And once again, right between the pool areas here. You've got the bar just out front. In fact, bartender has an unbelievable view looking out to the ocean. Uh, but just in front of the bar, you're going to have a few more seating areas and then a larger terrace where you have seating uh, for four. You've got some bench seating and you also have a larger family table. Now, I wanted to point out that this terrace can also be used for weddings and, uh, you know, small receptions and things along those lines. And uh, you have it here to take advantage of the beautiful ocean right in front of us. Also for reference, right up, up above us are all of the oceanfront room categories. Make sure that you check out the room tours. We have all of them here at this resort. Uh, that way you can see what's inside the hotel and what you're gonna have with that experience as well. As soon as you walk out of the elevator on the rooftop, you are absolutely blown away. The views are incredible. And they have the entire rooftop filled with three fantastic venues. You've got the 360 bar, the Blue Water Grill. I'll show you those in just a minute. But the showstopper is absolutely the sky pool. So follow me on up to this incredible terrace. It's important to note that this is an adults only space. So that's 18 years and up here. And I really love that they have that separation. Of course, they have the kids club and the teen club for all of those age groups, but for mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever it is that loves those adults only areas, this is the perfect spot. You can see all around me, there is really beautiful furniture. As a brand new resort, they really got the aesthetic exactly right. You've got the double day beds over here. You've got these nice uh, nest hanging loungers. You also have beds all around. But what I love is not just the regular loungers looking out, but these incredible loungers that are in the infinity pool. Now this is a breathtaking view. There's no way around it. You have beautiful, beautiful 360 degree views throughout the entire rooftop. You're surrounded by the, the golf course on one side. You can see the ferries in the distance on the other side and Isla Mujeres directly out in front of you. But in this pool, you get that wonderful adults only vibe. You can relax chill and just have some of the most amazing views anywhere in the world. So some really important features to note is that they do have a ton of shade up here. If you want to be out in the sun, of course, you can be in the pool, you can be in the loungers out in the pool, but most of this is shaded and there's a fantastic breeze. So that's always appreciated here in the tropics. They also have these beautiful lights on the ceiling that really add to the ambiance. And then of course, this is a fantastic venue in the evening as well. So now I'm headed to the 360 rooftop bar towards the middle of the rooftop, but the views are insane. You've got these three golf holes right here in front of me. Of course, you've got the ocean once again, shopping off in the distance, and then these canals that have luxury homes on there. But every single place you are on this rooftop, you get an amazing view. Now we're at the bar itself. Got some fantastic bartenders, really, really enjoyed them during our stay here. 
And then over here you have the lounge. So we're sitting just between the Blue Water Grill and the bar itself. So this is a perfect venue in the evening. Once again, the whole rooftop is adults only. So if you just wanna come up for a cocktail or maybe if you're waiting for dinner at the Blue Water Grill. But as you walk around, you can see there's lots of different seating areas. You've got small tables with, the, with chairs, incredible views out to the golf course. You also have this larger group setting behind me. And then as you continue on, we get almost to the Blue Water Grill, and this is the first part that you can see the indoor-outdoor dining here. So they call this the 360 rooftop bar area, and what is so unique about this is that you actually can walk completely around. You have this walkway with glass on either side all the way around the entire rooftop, and then right here in the middle is the Blue Water Grill. Right here is some of the outdoor dining, so they have it facing out to the beautiful views. They also have the dining here with these really cool light features. Actually, I've never seen anything quite like that. But one of the most awesome features is that these windows and doors open up. So there is always a ton of sunlight, but they can also open it up, weather depending, of course, and have that great indoor-outdoor feel. The Blue Water Grill is a lunch and dinner venue. At lunch, it's open just to preferred club guests, one of those great amenities that just they get. But at dinner, any adult can dine here because this is adults only at all times. And it's a really fantastic Mediterranean fusion dinner in the evening. So inside and outside, you have high tops, low tops, tables for two, four, six, or even eight if you'd like. It's once again, really beautiful furniture, something that I love about the entire property. So one of the spaces that I'm most excited about here at Dreams Vista is the Kids Club, the Explorers Club to be exact. And because each time they've built a resort, they've taken all the feedback and they've really taken it up to the next level. And this one is gonna blow your mind. So as soon as you walk in here, you've got the drop off for shoes area so the kids can leave their shoes there. And then they check in. Of course, they do have these pagers so you can take that just in case any issues and your kids need you throughout the day, you can have that with you. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue because let me show you why. As soon as you walk in, you see that this is a huge space. So a couple things I wanted to point out is that this is, there's only one main building here. And so you can get here without having to go through any open areas. So if there's inclement weather at all, this is also a perfect place for kids because it's all indoors in this part. So I know that my daughter would have loved these when she was just a little bit younger than she is right now, but they've got the shopping center, they've got the, the veterinarian over there, the lemonade stand, but all of the smaller kid toys. So you can drop them off starting at three years old in this space and it goes up to 12. They've got fantastic counselors and as we all know, the space can be incredible, but it's really the people that make it exceptional. You've got the push cars for the littlest ones. You've got the Hot Wheels trikes over there. There's also a great Lego station in the back corner. You've got the stairs right here that go up to the first of the little slides. And then throughout there's these little cubbies that have different coloring books and, and utensils so they can write and do crafts throughout. You've got your slide that comes down here, a huge chalkboard. Of course, they do some educational activities throughout the day along with all of the fun. And then up here, you have all of these walls of activities. Um, right here, you've got a huge craft box. You've got remote control cars, but they have a ton of brand new items because once again, it's a brand new resort. Just around the corner here, they even have a rock climbing wall. This is really cool. And I know once again, my daughter really loves that. So they do provide snacks and lunch for the kids. In fact, they even have a popcorn maker right there. Love that smell of fresh popcorn. And what goes better with popcorn than a theater? So right around the corner here, they've got a theater. They've got the curtains that come, the lighting even, and they've got a large panel TV. So they set up all the bing bags here and the kids can watch the TV. And then they also do different shows as well. Continuing on, this is a space that they set up quite a few tables and they do arts and crafts. You've got your video game station, brand new Xbox. You also have a Nintendo Switch over there cool little boat and I love that they even have these swings so mom and dad can be up on the rooftop in the same identical kind sipping on a cocktail they can be down here sipping on a juice box so for those of you with kids under three years old they also have times in the morning and in the evening where you can come in here and be a big kid as well with the littler kids so you can too come up on the stage and sing the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round So as you head into the core zone, you're surrounded on all sides by everything Pac-Man takes me back to my childhood and makes me pretty happy. But once again, every member of the family will be happy here at Dreams Vista. And teenagers are oftentimes one of the hardest groups to keep happy. I was a middle school teacher for 10 years. Trust me, I know that. But I think this actually satisfies their needs perfectly. 
As soon as you walk in here on the left-hand side, you're gonna have a large video game station. You've got Xbox and PlayStation 4 in here. Another one over on the other side. Bean bags throughout the entire place that so they can be moved around. So, you know, sitting where teens want and uh, grouping up as they like as well. So now we're into the central area. You've got several different games set up here. You've got pool right here to my right, air hockey and ping pong, all quintessential teen club games. Over here, they actually have this set up for virtual reality. You suspend and they've got the, uh, the fans on either side. So it's like you're gliding through the air. And then you've got more video games over here. And what I love is that it's not just a single game that's set up with Xbox Live, but on both sides over here as well, you've got hundreds if not thousands of video games to choose from. So you can pick the one that you like the most. Choice is very, very important with teenagers and giving them more choices and more things to do. I really, really appreciate that they do that in here. Continuing along, you have the selfie station over here. I think that's a must these days. You've got a ton more board game options, more TVs that they can set up with video games and this great theater room that also has Netflix there. So there's a ton of choices and options for them to choose from. And once again, you've got a ton of bean bags laid out here. They also have food and snacks that they'll provide them throughout the day. And then heading over to the disco area. I go immediately back to my days as a middle school dance chaperone. You've got the chairs over on the side here for those who wanna hang out. A huge dance floor, you've got a massive screen over there. All of the lights, the disco ball, and of course the DJ booth. And just like inside the Explorers Club, they also have their own restrooms that are inside the area here, a touch that I really appreciate. So now we're down on level one, which in addition to having the pool right here, it's also where you're gonna find most of your dining venues. The first ones that I wanted to point out are these three in a row right here. Now we're gonna take you inside all of them, but one interesting feature is that there is a large bar out there, La Veranda, that's shared between the three. And then in addition to that, for an afternoon for lunch, they're gonna open up all three of the terraces only, not the inside part of the restaurant, but the terraces, and it becomes La Terraza, which is kind of a, a mixed menu. You're gonna find some seafood, hamburgers, things like that, but it's just a great dining option outside. Himitsu is the classic Asian fusion restaurant. So they have a couple different settings here. They've got a great outdoor veranda area with including a really large bar. And then as soon as you get inside here, you can see it's set up a couple different ways. So you've got the tables in the middle. This is where you're gonna order off the menu. You do not need reservations or anything along those lines. You're gonna find a mix of different Japanese, Chinese dishes, even some Thai variety. The place you do need reservations, you can make those the day of with the concierge, is these hibachi stations. So there's one, two on that side. You've got another one right here. And you also have a private one back in the corner that you can't, I don't know if you can see that, but it's glassed in. And that's utilized for private parties, birthdays, and things like that. So in addition to the diverse food options, I also really like the art. You've got these really cool fish swimming above you, and then the giant koi picture over in the corner. But you just get that Asian vibe in here. So we're just inside Mi Lucrecia, which is the Mexican restaurant here. In fact, they call it charming Mexican food. And what you're gonna find is it's a mix of Mexican food from all over the country. I really enjoyed the crab taco. That's always a hit. And then of course you can't go wrong with tortilla soup or mole or any of those wonderful dishes. But let me show you this space. Right here, you've got four tops and two tops. You've got a nice larger space here for a family group. And of course they can put them together if you like to, to make it larger. Back here in the corner, you have this really awesome cactus feature. I love that they have some, some living growth in here. In addition to it, you've got more seating back in the corner and then this incredible private room here to my left. So in addition to the indoor seating, you're also gonna have outdoor seating on the veranda. And one of the positives, at least for me, is that out there you can wear shorts, whereas inside they do require long pants. So now we're just inside Portofino. That is the Italian option here, which is a classic option at all-inclusive. In fact, I'm not even sure you're allowed to have an all-inclusive if you don't have an Italian restaurant. Now, when you walk in here, the decor is very simplistic, very Mediterranean, very wide open as well. You've got the green backdrop there. Up front, you have these marble top tables. This really nice, uh, there's eight or 10 uh, chairs right there for the high top. You also have a family table over there in the corner. So one of the things that really makes this particular restaurant exceptional is the brick pizza oven right here over to my right. It cranks out some really fantastic pizzas. Now, in addition to all of the open seating in here, there's also a really large veranda outside. And one of the advantages to that is, yes, you can wear shorts out there where they do require pants inside. But continue along to the space, you can see the bench seating in the back there. But I wanted to take you inside this beautiful private room. So this private room is used for different things like tastings. It's also used for birthday parties and very, very small get togethers. But you can see that you're surrounded by all kinds of different wines in here. It has a really beautiful ambiance. 
So now we're just inside the World Cafe. It is a really, really large space, and this is the classic buffet option. It's offered at all breakfast, lunch, and dinner options for you. Now this is a really unique space. It's actually the kids' buffet. They have the, their own little plate, and then right here they have it set up and it's at their level. So I really, really appreciate that because I know when every single member of the family feels valued and has their needs met, the vacation's gonna be that much better. Now continue on through here and you can see this is set up as a classic buffet option. So you've got the grill over here to the left. Of course, you get your egg stations in the morning. They do burgers, patty melts, things like that in the afternoon as well. But it's a pretty big and diverse menu that you have all throughout. They, they try to have an international theme so that you have items from all kinds of different genres. In the middle here, you have more buffet. And then continuing along, you have a few more of the griddle stations. So all throughout this space, there are all kinds of different seating options. You've got tables of four and two that are looking out at the beautiful beach and golf course view. You also have bigger tables here. They have booths over to my left, more booths along the back. And then they also have a ton of high chairs if that's something that you need. So in addition to the kids buffet, they've really dedicated all kinds of space and energy to the kids. Right here, you're gonna have the kids dining area and they'll even bring them from the kids club to dine here. They've got little cubbies over on the side and they even have a great view of the flow riders and the water park. Something that's truly unique here is the chef's table experience. Now I've been to chef's tables before. You see it's set up beautifully here, of course. They even have the TV over there for audio visual as well. And you're gonna have that beautiful plated chef's meal course by course. They have seven courses. You can actually pick from several different wine pairings. You can also pick from tequila pairings as well. But what's so unique and different about this particular option is that you actually walk through parts of the kitchen to get here and you're in the kitchen itself. So it's truly, truly a theater style kitchen. You can see on the left hand side here, it looks like they're making different pastas and things like that over there. Um, and then over here on the right, what's really cool is they actually have cameras up above that will be filming the chef's plating so you can see it right over there on the TV. Then they're gonna come in here and of course the sommelier will explain the wines, the chef will explain the meal, but it's just a really unique venue, but also a really unique experience. So as soon as you arrive, this is where you're gonna be. You're gonna step out of your vehicle here, the bell staff's gonna take care of your luggage and all of those details, and then you walk in and you get that beautiful breeze and the unbelievable view. They've taken every single opportunity to frame the view for you throughout the entire property, and this is no exception to that. I also love all of the details, the beautiful art. You've got all the sea turtles heading out towards the sea in front of me, facing that direction. You've got this beautiful art piece here, and even all of the, the chairs and furniture throughout are unique bits of art. This is a modern architectural wonder, and every single thing is in one building. I love that so much because you have quick access to anything and everything that you'd like. So as soon as you arrive, you're gonna drop off your bags, of course, and then head right on in here to check in. It's a relatively small lobby. You've got your concierge and the front desk, but that's all you need. And those of you who are preferred club guests, you're gonna head right up to the preferred club lounge to check in. And then you head right around the corner to the door here and take the elevator right up to your room. Now, wherever your room is, one of the great features about this hotel being all in one space is that it's always going to be covered. So if there's weather, not a big deal whatsoever. In the lobby bar, you're gonna see a continuation of the beautiful classic modern decor, but in addition to it, you have a little bit of the jungle to remind you of the tropics here. Behind the bar, they've got this really, really nice live plant area. Of course, all the bottles up there look beautiful. Fantastic bartenders. Can I get a Captain Morgan and Coke, please? Yes, oh, <laughs> I guess maybe I've been here one too many times. You already knew my order. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. So in addition to the bar seating, they have all of this really comfortable lounge seating. You got the couches here, you've got the, the lower couches and the chairs, and then of course the tables as well. So if you wanna grab a coffee or a cocktail, this is a great place in the morning or even before dinner in the evening. So just off the lobby bar, you're gonna have an elevator bank right here, another one over there, and then continuing along, you've got a couple little stores. So I do love that they have an on-site drugstore. One of the best parts of this resort is that everything is in one space. So you've got just about everything that you could possibly need on vacation right here, just an elevator away. Over here, you've got the photo area. It's a, it's a third party company, but of course, if you want photo shoot while you're here, they can definitely accommodate that. And then the wedding showroom. This is a fantastic resort for weddings. And right here, you can come in and pick out all the accoutrements and everything that you want to go along with it. Uh, and they've got some fantastic wedding coordinators that handle all the details. In addition, you've got the hospitality and tour desk just behind me. And it's also where you're gonna find the ATM just over here to my left. So now I'm inside the Desires Sports Bar and Disco. Every all-inclusive should have a good one, and they have a really fantastic one here. 
You see all the TVs up on the wall. You've got quite a few different seating styles. You've got the big benches down here. You've got the high tops right there, more low tops and bench seating, and then a ton more of the TVs. Now, as we continue on, this is where the space really opens up. You have more high top here. You also have a couple more there. And then you have the intelligence lights up there so that you can get that full disco experience up there on the dance floor. You're also gonna have the DJ booth over there in the distance. Continuing on to the other side, you've got some classic games. You've got two foosball, board games over there to my side. You have, well, can't not have air hockey here. And then of course, billiards right there. And another really gigantic screen to watch the game on. Now, finally, to cap it off, you have your full bar here. Of course, it's not quite set up yet for the evening, but you have one more really large screen TV. So cheers. As we continue along, I just wanted to point out that I love the architectural feature here of having the views on every single space in the entire area. But in addition to that, they left this open so you get a great breeze, but it is completely covered just in case there's inclement weather. So for those of you with a desire for some retail therapy, they do have a little Vista clothing shop right here to my right. They have sunglasses, hats, those types of things. But what's also great about this property is a ton of shopping is really close by. They even have a boat that will take you right over to the shopping center. So at the end of the walkway, you're gonna find the coffee shop, the Coco Cafe. So this is where you can get a nice espresso or latte in the morning. They also have brewed coffee options. And then my favorites, of course, all of the sweets that Donuts calling my name right now, but of course, those of you who know me know that I will spend most of my time here with all of my lovely ice cream and gelato friends. So this venue also has indoor and outdoor seating, this really comfortable large couch. You've got tables with the booths here, and then of course, more outside with, once again, incredible views. So now we're headed into the Dream Spa. Now this is part of their name, so they take it incredibly serious. And as soon as you walk in, there are water features throughout the entire spa complex. It sounds like rain as you come in, kind of like you're entering a rainforest, and then it just continues the zen as we go all the way through. So you're gonna check in right here to my right, and then as you follow me on in, there are some seating areas, but I'm gonna take you right back to the locker rooms over on this side. Now, once again, a beautiful water feature all the way down the middle, and then at the end, they have this fountain dripping down that once again gives you that kind of sound of the rain. So now we're in the men's locker room. The women's locker room is just next door, and it is identical. So as soon as we come in around the corner here, you're gonna have your lockers. They're gonna give those to you their punch code like that. You don't have to carry a key around. They're gonna give you your robe and your slippers. And then you can head on in here to either get dressed or you know this incredible spot with the view. Over here, you've got two sinks and mirrors to get ready before you head out after you're done. The final space in the locker rooms over here to the right are showers with large rainforest shower heads. And then directly in front of me is the sauna. It's a really large sauna and unique because of the view. Now we're headed around to the corner to the therapies and treatments area. You've got a bench seating here. In fact, I had to put on my sunglasses because you have this beautiful morning sun directly out in front of me with the panoramic views all around. You've got your strawberry and mint infused water, some tea options, and then some snacks as well. So just around the corner here is the relaxation rooms. And now we're headed into the hydrotherapy area. This is truly a showstopper. It's incredibly beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you, but I did want to mention that Preferred Club guests get this complimentary once during their stay here. And of course you can also get it through spa services. The first spot as you walk into the right is the steam room. So you have aromatherapy and it's a nice warm tropical steam room. And you can alternate that back and forth with the dry sauna. Now what's really unique about this particular sauna is those windows out to the ocean, incredible views, usually something that I've only seen previously on cruise ships. Now across to complete this part of the circuit is the showers. And I call this the car wash showers because you've got jets coming from every single angle and together they, they signify the first part of the hydrotherapy. So next, after you open up all of your pores in the steam room and the sauna, they've got this ice fountain here. So it's like snow, you're gonna take it, rub it all over, it'll close the pores right back up and then you continue along through the circuit. Now the next pools that they have, this is a large one, and it's kind of, uh, it's about 95 degrees, so it's not truly a jacuzzi, but what this is is a therapy pool. You've got benches all around the side, and then the two really large waterfall jets that will uh, really loosen up the back. Continuing along, you have the cold plunge pool. This is 62 degrees, or as I like to call it, the Pacific Ocean, uh, but you go, once again, alternate between the two. So now we're in the second of the two relaxation zones. You've got these two large loungers here, really comfy, two chairs as well. And then right here, they have a fire pit. For reference, these are the same kind that they have up on the rooftop. 
Just outside, you have the large ocean front sun deck here. This is something that's usually only reserved for the top suites. You've got this extra large jacuzzi hot tub just in front of me. There's seating and uh, little pads all around. And then continuing along, you have the last of the relaxation zones. But once again, this is all about these incredible panoramic views that really can't beat. They have a full array of spa treatments, whether you're looking for a facial or a massage, manicure, pedicure, of course, they've got that taken care of. But right here, this is a classic look at one of their treatment rooms. So this is a, a unique one. It's actually a couple's treatment room here. You've got the two beds, really comfortable. Notice that when I was having my spa treatment. And then over here to the right, you have a large jacuzzi tub. Now, if you've ever had a massage here at Dreams or Secrets, you know, this is the uh, best sound to get it started, but also sad when it's over. To complement the spa, they do have a full gym and fitness center. So right here you can see they've got different machines. They've got the free weights with the dumbbells, kettlebells over there, medicine balls. There's also a lot of equipment tucked away. It's kind of a unique feature here where they've got the mirrors all the way on the one side here with the equipment behind it. Right over here, you've got your rowing machine, bike. So just on the other side of the partition, you've got a few more of the circuit machines here. You've got your ellipticals, and then of course, the gorgeous views from the forward-facing treadmills, looking out at the golf course and the ocean in the distance. In addition to the equipment in here, they also have classes. That's generally held in the beautiful outdoor terrace just beside me. That's also the same place that they use for groups and cocktails later on in the evening. So now we're on the ninth floor, and the first space I wanted to point out was this beautiful outdoor area. So when you see pictures of this resort, it's really kind of iconic architecture with the huge cutout in the middle. That's what this space is, and it's perfect for small events, whether you're doing a cocktail party, even a ceremony or a reception. It's a really great space, and you get a fantastic view, of course, and a great breeze. The Preferred Club Lounge is actually one of the best amenities that you get being in a Preferred Club room. So this lounge is just open for those Preferred Club guests. It's open from about 7 in the morning, generally till about 11 in the evening. Now in the morning, it's usually used first for breakfast. So you can see over here to my right, they've got different food options. So right now it's all set up for breakfast. You've got cereals and yogurts, um, eggs and uh, things along those lines. But they're going to change the food throughout the day. But the real best part of this is, of course, the bar. And, you know, Carlos makes it perfect. Carlos, I'd love to get another one of those Captain Morgan and Cokes. Yes. All right. It's my dad's all-time favorite. So come back and get that. He's made more than one so far on this day. But as you can see in here, you've got all the tables. This is set up perfectly for the continental breakfast or small bites throughout the day. It's also a great place to grab a cocktail before you go to dinner in the evening. You've got a nice lounge area over here with the sofa looking out at the view and the two chairs. But once again, with Vista in the name, there are views everywhere. You have this huge balcony over here, really, really beautiful with the tables out there. So once again, you can eat, grab a cocktail, and take in these incredible views, or watch a little golf if you'd like. But me, personally, I'm heading back over to grab my drink. Here we go. All right, Carlos, cheers. Thank you so much, as always. You. Does an amazing job. So here we go. Coach? Do we have to keep going? No? Yeah? R really? Uh. The first time that you're gonna encounter the Preferred Club Lounge is immediately upon check-in. You actually bypass the regular check-in area. They're gonna bring you right up here, so of course, Carlos can make you your drink. But what's really nice is it's just a very quiet, private experience. It really does enhance that. And then you can come back and utilize their services throughout the entire stay. They're gonna be your personal concierges, and they do a great job. So just outside the convention center, looking over the golf course, you have this really large outside terrace. It's used for different kinds of events, of course. Uh, they can set it up for dining, you can set it up for different learning scenarios and situations as well. But you continue along, right now they have it set up with the chess board, um, and it's really just opened up. But once again, this is a multi-use space and a really great outdoor one, and once again, ocean views. So one of the unique things that they do for the teens is they have outdoor movie night. So you can see they've got it set up on the terrace here. You've got the PlayStation set up with the projector. They'll put it up on the wall. And then they have these really nice loungers. In fact, oh, I absolutely love these. Oh, I might just join them to watch Avengers Endgame.
So now we're inside the foyer in front of the conference rooms. You can see there's three really large openings here. So that's one really large ballroom that can go together, or of course they can be broken up into different size meeting rooms. Now, one thing that's interesting about this space is that the doors, just like in the rooms, they open up completely so that you can have a huge indoor outdoor space between here and the terrace itself. Now you can see right now it's set up for meetings. So it's kind of a break breakout meetings. And then in between, you've got snacks over here. You've got your sodas and waters. And then over here, you've got a coffee station. Right, so now we're in the first part of the convention space. Now keep in mind that we're only in one third of it. You can up put up this wall. And then of course there's another wall beyond it. Right now this is set up for an executive summit, a little less than 20 people here. You can see they have all of the upgraded technology. This is a brand new resort. And that's one of the big advantages of hosting any kind of meeting group or incentive at a new resort is the updated technology. Over here, they have a small breakout session area currently, different lighting configurations that they can use on the ceiling, but it's a very, very diverse space. And then once again, opens up directly out to that beautiful foyer and to the terrace. So in addition to all the ballroom and conference space, they also have these really fantastic breakout rooms. So this is set up in more of an executive setting. There's several of them, so you can arrange them as works best for you. Because this is a brand new ultra modern resort, you have all of the tech, you've got the large screen TV, and then all the tech built in throughout. And then you can kind of see what they have here for the setups for meetings, really nice, beautiful. And then of course they'll bring in food throughout the day. And in addition, as is the theme of the entire resorts, you have incredible views even from these breakout rooms. So it's a perfect place to hold a meeting, a corporate incentive, or maybe just a VIP getaway. First off, congratulations and thank you for making it all the way through the video with us. I hope you enjoyed this incredibly stunning, beautiful, brand new, very modern resort hotel. Now this is a golf and spa resort. I think they do really well with both of those things. You've got some huge pools, a ton of fantastic things for every member of the family. In fact, the kids and the teen club are two of the best that I've seen anywhere in Mexico. So when you're ready to book this incredible resort or any Dreams or Secrets property, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your AM resorts experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have a phenomenal relationship with AM and we know that we can create the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends and your family at an incredible value.